Good morning, Facebook. Happy Friday. Um, we hope you guys are doing well. We apologize for the delay. Dr. Downs was in surgery, so of course we had to wait for um, the doctor himself. Um, today we're going to be doing um, um, hands. So we have a new product that we're going to be showing you that we use, and this, um, what it does is it's it's a similar type to Sculptra, where it is um, a fat that is um, injected into the hands, a fat grafting injected in the hands that help smooth out those wrinkles, um, maybe give you a little more luscious look, and um, turn back the clocks on your hands. So if you have any questions, comment below, and I will also be um, announcing the Facebook acne winner. So we hope you guys enjoy. What's going on? What's going on? So, what are we doing today? We are going to rejuvenate some hands. And that's, it's, um, one of the telltale signs when we age is, you know, obviously all over our body, our fat thins out, our, our, our skin thins out, whether it's on our face, other parts of our body. But one of the places that's really, really exposed a lot is the hands. So one of the things we like to do as we do rejuvenation is to really come in and rejuvenate the hands. So, so the question is always, what's the best thing for the hands? Well, we've got plenty of fillers and we can use them both in the face and we can use them in the hands, but they're temporary. And the idea there is to make them the skin healthier, um, cover up the veins a little bit so you don't. There's not as much uh, of an aged appearance to it. And the best, probably one of the better injectables for the back of the hand is fat, because as we age, one of the things we lose in our skin is the, the little bit of layer of fat that lives underneath the skin. And as we lose that layer of fat and the skin thins out, that's when we start to see the veins and things along those lines. So. Uh, when we inject fat into someone, we always have to harvest it from somewhere. So we have to usually get a donor site somewhere on the body and get the fat out and then inject it in there. And there's always parts of it that can die or not make it. And sometimes it takes multiple injections. So the perfect, uh, the perfect thing would be to do to have something that's kind of in between where it's easy. It's kind of off the shelf yet. It's a fat type of material. And just out on the market now is, is a product called Renuva. It's from the uh, musculoskeletal uh, tissue uh, foundation. And uh, what it is, is basically a fat matrix. And much like we have skin, uh, we've decellularized and we use it in different aspects uh, of the body. Now we have actual adipose or fat tissue that has been processed in a way that actually removes all the fat cells, but this has the fat matrix. But the nice part about that matrix or that mesh work is that it grows fat. So the idea there is over time, after we inject it, not only will it act as a filler, but it'll also attract and grow the uh, patient's own fat cells. And the nice part about that is as those fat cells appear, it has a very good effect to the overlying skin. So the actual overlying skin starts to look better. So um, we really uh, think that this is going to be a great product for the hands. So um, it is an injectable, so it, it does sting a little bit when it goes in. So that in order to make that a little bit uh, more, more comfortable, what we're going to do is just uh, inject along the back of the wrist here and that kind of um, will help numb up the skin on the back of the hands. So you're using lidocaine? Just a little lidocaine, just like the dentist it. uses for your teeth. And we just come, we just like a lay, lay, layer, a little strip of that across there. And uh, it's usually uh, very... Do you want to do that? Yeah, if you can just reach over, I'll do that one real quick. And uh, it really helps. And there's just a... Just a little superficial layer in there and pinch up the skin to try to avoid all those nice nice vessels. How does it feel, Lisa? Good? It, you, I barely feel it. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a pretty good place to inject. So mm -hmm. well, as that's working, we'll start to get our, our uh, material ready. And this is called, again, it's called Renuva. By MTF. For those needed not to do the Musculoskeletal Transplant <laughs> Foundation. I think I said tissue, so I mispronounced it. So, the material um, looks like a lot of other injectables. The difference here being that in this particular case, we're going to what we call rehydrate the material. And uh, 
usually we'll use a little bacteriostatic or that means uh, uh, saline. saline without any with with material in it that is, uh, keeps any bacteria from growing. So that's what the uh, material looks like. It's like almost like a powder. It is form. exactly. It's exactly what it is at this can point. Can I like move it around? Don't touch it. Sorry. All right, you can touch it. I'm just, just coming here. See, you guys, it's more like a powder. And that's the fat, right? It's the fat matrix. There's no mm -hmm. fat in there. Okay. So can you explain what is a fat matrix? Because well, all of our tissues in sit in a in a matrix. In other words, that you just don't have these free floating cells that just float all over the place in your body. They have a structure or a framework that they live in. Any of our tissues do, and fat is no different. Now the framework in fat's a little bit more wispy. Um, I'm going to get a little bit of a different needle for this. Um, the uh, so. So it's a little wisp, it's a little wispier, um, so, and you'll see as we uh, rehydrate this exactly what I mean. So we're going to take about two cc's of this material. Which is the saline. Yeah. So this is the process, if you come in and get this done, this is what you'll see us doing. It's kind of a, we're just getting things ready. The actual injection doesn't hardly take any time. It's just, mm -mm, just it's the, the entire prep. preparation. But it's reasonable to do this while we are uh, waiting for the numbing medicine to work. So this comes with a little uh, transfer. <laughs> And what will this product do to her hands? Well, you'll, you're going to see it. Um, so now I'm going to go back and forth on it. So we're going to start very gently just putting the fluid in. And mixing it thoroughly. Very complicated. Cool, huh? So we're just going to keep mixing. And at minimum of 10 little back and forth, but we'll, we do a bunch more just to make sure it's mixed. Because mm -hmm. you don't want it powdered, correct? No. You want to make sure it's all liquid. Because it doesn't inject. You can't put the powder. It won't right. go out through a needle. And I'll show you a little bit before we put it in her hand what this looks like. Yeah, I know we got to all test it. It was really cool. So that's that. <clears throat> I had I had pretty good skills so. on my on my on testing. Your mixing? Yeah. yeah. So you can almost see a little bit here. So if we're going to inject that in her hand, it's going to look like that. It's going to be like a little little thread that comes out. Just like that. Now we're going to use a little bit of a bigger needle, but that's the idea. So let's get another needle. That's too thin. I think it was a little thin. So as you can see, it, it's just really, really simple, very thready. And he's he's talked about like the threading that he's done before with the injections, where it's it's a fanning, right? Like kind of a yeah, she's got a exactly. fan. So we'll do her. Which hand do you want to do first? Doesn't matter. This hand doesn't feel quite as numb. This does okay. this one. So typically what I'll do is I'm going to get up and actually come to the other side because okay. I'm going to start from the, the wrist crease and work my way out. And I'm trying only to make one puncture wound for her because I don't want to. 
Mm. Shana, just grab me that little alcohol there and we're all set. The switch one? The alcohol switch. It's in the square. The square package right there. Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. What happens when you get these non-clinical people in here? Oh my gosh. <laughs> so mean. I thought you wanted the alcohol, I guess. Okay. So we're going to watch and we're going to try to avoid those little vessels. And we're just going to go in. Does that hurt? Mm -hmm. Okay. You can kind of see where, how superficial we're going to go. And we're just going to thread that in there like that. And then we can push it around a little bit. Now I'm going to pinch up here a little bit. Doing okay, Lisa? Oh, yeah. I don't feel a thing. It's a very easy injection. You all right? Yeah, I'm laughing. It's kind of cool. <laughs> so you can see it there, okay? I can't wait to, like, compare our hands now. I took some before shots, too. Mm -hmm. Everybody does. Mm -hmm. So does she have like any downtime with this or? We're going to ask that she doesn't engage in any, any heavy exercising or anything. And we're just going to rub that material around on the back of her hand because the material itself is, is important because it's going to make it look better. But at the end of the day, what's going to happen over time is that's going to plump mm -hmm. and soften the appearance back here. Mm -hmm. I said it's very similar to like sculpture a little bit. A little bit. Mm -hmm. Only it's working in a different way. Mm -hmm. Okay, and, and, and we're going to see how that one syringe works for her. But she could almost have used a second syringe mm -hmm. in that hand. So. Do you want to compare hands? Hang on a second. I'm just going to give it a little... Oh, no. And you can see if you look at the other hand now. Oh yeah, wow. So there's a big difference and it'll continue to improve. But it's really Especially, easy to you know, like yeah. like her her wrinkling and her I don't want to say uh, ripples have a uh, net smoothing out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you know, um, like I said, you could all, and we could even have, we can even put more in if we need to, depending on how bad or how we, how much wasting there is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cool. cool. So we got the other hand to do. Yep. So we're gonna do the other hand. So we need another box. So we gotta do the process all over, you guys. Well, normally we're doing this for the purpose of uh, Facebook Live. Normally this would all be pre-mixed, and Correct. you'd be it would be all ready to go. You'd be in and out uh, of here when you arrive here. This could be like a 15 minute first. In yeah, I mean mm -hmm. we would know just like we do like when we do sculpture or something like that. We pre-mix. Awesome. Most of these. Uh, Are you happy with that? Mm -hmm. Now, did you feel anything? Does it Not feel at all. like? Does it feel like there's something or? There's a little bit of, a tiny bit of maybe pressure but it's not pressure in any way pain mm -hmm. it's not a painful pressure now, what we'll probably do is we'll give her as she leaves today but i'm going to re re reconstitute these but we'll give her some ice packs on mm -hmm. that yeah mm -hmm. and, uh, but i don't there's absolutely no pain here, whatsoever on, on very easy this hand doesn't feel quite as numb i'm gonna I'll, I'll read you i okay. can go back through it with a little bit of okay if it if this yeah if we if you think we need it then so again, this is called Renova, and it's from MTF. Um, I guess I could go ahead and... We can use it in most parts of the body. Mm -hmm. um, where we haven't really tested it yet is on the face. Um, so we, we don't typically put this in the face. Um, but obviously, you know, one of the things that... So what could be some examples you could use? I mean, my hands is one, little, but... uh, Anywhere we would put fat. Mm -hmm. Like so the first thing you think about immediately, you know, hey, how about the lips? You know, mm -hmm. that would be a great place for this. Mm -hmm. We haven't tested it there, but it certainly uh, potentially could be used on the lips. Mm -hmm. What about like dimples and stuff like that? Cellulite, that kind of thing? Yeah. Would that be a possibility? Yes. So that's... All of the above. Mm -hmm. Even though we do have a procedure called 
cellulase that can get rid of your cellulite, but I mean this might be another, if maybe they will don't want to do the downtime, this could possibly be another. Well, if you want to, if we're talking about new products, um, this literally is as new as it gets. Mm -hmm. um, the, um, the, it's, to my knowledge, we're the only practice, that, uh, one of very few practices across the country that has mm -hmm. access to Renuva right now. Right. That's how, that's how uh, brand spanking new it is. Mm -hmm. And this might be off the uh, subject, guys, but Dr. Jones does a lot of um, speaking engagements for um, MTF, which is an honor. Uh, well, it's also a disclaimer because I am a paid consultant for MTF. So. Yeah, but um, you know that just tells you, you know, though, though we try to, you know, keep up with the latest and greatest, uh, you know, technology and that's coming out on the market. It's mm -hmm. nice. And the idea there is that we're going to, you know, miss the vessels. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But even if, you know, we, you know, one of those vessels gets inadvertently hit, it's just a bruise. Mm -hmm. Nobody likes that, but I mean, mm -hmm. that's what it is. So besides no exercise and maybe just a little icing, that's it? That's it. Mm -hmm. And how long would this last? And there can be some bruising. I mean, even though we didn't hit a vessel, yeah. it's permanent. Oh, mm -hmm. forever. Yeah. Okay. So that's the nice part about it. And, you know, it acts just like your normal fat because it is your okay. fat. Because okay. basically it grows your fat. And what will happen with that is that, you know, you can gain and lose weight just like you normally would. It's mm -hmm. your normal fat. Okay, ready for the other hand. Are you good, Lisa, or do you want a little more? Maybe a little more. Probably a little more. So she has a little bit, you know, she, and even if we didn't give her a little bit more, mm -hmm. you know, it probably wouldn't uh, hurt that much, but we'll do, we'll, you know, since she's being a wuss, we'll. <laughs> I love you too, Dr. Downs. <laughs> and we're doing this in the hands, and again, you know, hands are tricky no matter what you mm -hmm. inject in there, but this is such a natural a natural uh, so, substance for her. Uh, just because I know um, radius is um, can also be put in the hands. How does that compare to this? Well, the problem with radius is it, radi radius is a good injectable, but the problem with radius is it's a it's a high hyaluronic acid, um, and then it has little microparticles or microspheres of hydroxyapatite, which is a crystal. It's almost the same uh, stuff that your bone is made out of, and it looks like a white paste. Well, the skin on the back of the hand is very, very thin. So a lot of times, it, uh, it, it, the problem with radius is that you can, one, see it, and, and two, it can form little granulomas, little lumpies and bumpies. It tends to not be as smooth. This is going to create, this is basically going to give her just her own fat in there, which is really what we, we want. Cool. Now the good part about the back of the hand also is that skin is so loose that we can actually take this material and and massage it around. So can you need the light? No. Okay. Sorry, Lisa. So again, close. I'm gonna have you bend your wrist just a little bit, not too much, and I'm gonna tent up the skin. We're gonna go in. I'm gonna try to avoid all those veins. You okay? Oh yeah. Is that numb enough for you? Oh yeah. And I do want to point out, Dr. Downs is the only one that can do this. A nurse practitioner cannot. So this is something that he has to do. I'm going to try to do this so everybody can see it. I can move my hand. Just move my hand however you need it. Now we're going up between those veins because I don't want to get into the veins. Ooh, that was cool. <laughs> <laughs> I was 
pushing a little too hard. But that's the nice part about that is I just, I can just move it around like that. It's not funny. Okay. I'm going to change needles here. So every once in a while, just like any filler, the needle gets, hold on the pressure there for mm -hmm. a little bit. The needle gets clogged up. We just change it out. happen on any injection I mean even like you know Botox or filler sometimes you just gotta change your needle and get that's why all those all of our fillers come with more than one needle mm -hmm. back at it try not to make too many holes so she can like can she like go to work like type on a keyboard or Text crazy. She felt that one. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, she can do anything she wants. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if this is going around taking selfies. I, I, I don't want to, you know, cramp her style. So, very, no downtime, you guys. Just a little ice, no exercise. And how long should she not exercise? For like 24 hours? or? Yeah, about 24 hours. So, no, like going five miles, you know, Lisa. Okay. I know. Fair enough. No marathons for you today. <laughs> what are we missing here? here. And I go a little deeper with this than I would normally go with a filler. Now, if you'll get me some of that arnica back there. Mm -hmm. Where is that at? Right on the back, right there in the tube. That's it. <clears throat> this stuff? Nope, next to it. Oh, I should probably just read. <laughs> oh, the one that says arnica. Okay, so. <laughs> so there can be some bruising there. Now, if you do get some bruising, it's going to last, what, seven to, seven to 14 days. It depends on, you know. A bruise? Yeah. You know, just like any bruise. Okay. And what is this? This is Arnica, it helps with the bruising. Okay. It's a good cream to put on there. I'm gonna now massage that product around because I can do that now. Feels good, actually. She was a little less numb on his side. We're gonna get a little bruising there, but nothing terrible. Mm -hmm. I think I'd rather have like a bruise on my hand than it would like yeah. on my face or something. Yeah. But... yeah, and even though I felt it more on this side because I wasn't as numb, it was still not painful. It was, it was a needle prick. Yeah. Now don't insult me. No way. It's all good. Just rest that hand out. Okay. That's just swelling from the uh -huh. check. So. You and you're going to get fat injected today, did you, Lisa? <laughs> you see how nice that looks? Mm. So good. That's so pretty. <laughs> little bit of little bit of swelling. A little bit of, little bit of gonna bruise there, but that's okay. Nothing a little pressure won't hold. So anyway, so that's what we're looking for, unless you hit a vein. And then uh, this is what it looks like when you hit a vein. It swells up, you get a little bruising, but that's okay. And I didn't even feel that, honestly. You won't. Yeah, it, no. it'll it'll just yeah. it's gonna be fine. Way to go. It's just going to be a bruise. So uh, no matter what filler we inject in there, though, however, you're going, you could always, you always hands always bruise. So um, it already looks better. Yeah, it's going yeah. to be fine. Look how nice that is. Yeah. Us. So that's it. That's Renuva. That's Renuva. So yeah, what? And I'm I'm not sure what we have for a price point on that. Um, I don't think we've determined yet. Yeah, it's so new. Um, it really is brand new stuff. So. But it's fantastic. I mean, it's got so much promise to use in different areas. Um, and so I will, different parts of the body. But look, I mean, that look, that looks just great, except for that bruised up yeah. part right there. But that, even that doesn't look that no, good. No, no. Um, and I'll put the price on here once we've decided. Once you have decided. So everybody's in shock. Everybody's watching the inauguration, or just no question. I don't know if I'm just no no questions today, which is weird. <laughs> You're not filming. 
I am filming. Did people watch it? <laughs> They're watching the inauguration. It's They're... over. Oh, is it? It's Tells over. you if I was watching it. We have a new president. So, yeah, um, if you have questions about Renuva or other products that we have here, filler-wise, just give us a call and we can try to answer um, for you. Yep. Let's so, see a little pressure there. If we do get some bruising or bleeding, a little pressure just takes care of it. Okay. So, so that's what I should do this afternoon as well. Well, it won't bleed okay. anymore. It's so, just we're going to ice this down. So we'll uh, reach in here and get you an ice pack. Our lovely ice packs. CenterPC.com. And you just hold that on there. So we did do, last week we did acne. And so I gave away one of these Zeo Medical acne little kits. So we need to announce that winner. Oh, is this the winner? Yes. And it's for, ooh, this is a good kit too. Angie Simpson. If you're watching, you won this acne kit from Zio, which is mm -hmm. really very good, actually. Mm -hmm. so. so, Angie, you are our three lovely winner. So, Dr. Downs, anything else you want to talk about? Um, if you guys have anything you want to see us do on Facebook Live, anything we do here at the Center PC that's within the realm of our scope of practice, don't ask us to do weird stuff. <laughs> like, you know, like strange dances or... I don't know, I could probably come up with some sense. Weird stuff like that. Um, but no, if anything that's on our menu, anything you want to see through the spa, I know that we're working on a couple of other operative procedures that we're going to start to uh, think about putting on Facebook Live. Uh, I know we did a tummy tuck a couple weeks back that everybody watched. Um, we're going to do, uh, we're working on doing a breast augmentation live. Typo. Some uh, smart lipo live. Um, Before we stop, how about you quickly talk about uh, BioT? Because I kind of introduced it. So last on week. February sixth, we're going to roll out a program called BioT. BioT is a, uh, a bioidentical hormone replacement program that dovetails very nicely with our spa services because we're all about reversing aging and anti-aging. And but one of the things that help us or make us age is hormone imbalance. So as part of this anti-aging, we're going to start to talk to you about not only hormone uh, balancing, but also uh, nutraceuticals and vitamin and mineral so and nutrient balancing. Who would be a candidate for BioT? Well, I mean, uh, I think probably most of us as we age uh, will start to uh, have shifts in how we have hormones or, or how hormones affect us. And many of us um, are deficient in certain aspects of that. And um, I think that any, so anybody can, uh, over the age of 18, is okay uh, to, to go with BioT. Um, BioT are little pellets that we put in uh, that go in the subcutaneous space that over the course of, of several months just very naturally uh, put out the hormones that you're deficient. Now, of course, you don't so come in and get pellets. We, we put you through a screening process we do a full a blood battery of blood tests uh, that help us uh, it helps indicate what your particular imbalance is, and then we'll make a suggestion to you in terms of what we think needs to be done to balance that out. And then once that occurs, um, then we can go ahead with the pellets, and it's usually every three to four months. Uh, it's very easy to do; uh, it's practically painless, and um, it's uh, it's also there's a bunch of nutraceuticals and things like uh, potassium restoration and and thyroid and things along those lines that all enter into aging problems. For instance, you know, if you're, you know, you're over 40 and all of a sudden, you know, you, you can't lose weight and you're dieting and you're exercising and it's not going anywhere, it could be that your hormones are imbalanced. Or if you're, you know, a woman and you're perimenopausal and you have the hot flashes and you're not sleeping at night and you're feeling fatigued, you get that brain fog. A lot, it can, it doesn't have to be, but it can be your hormones. So what we're gonna do is, is take a look at that for you, and if that's the case, we can help you in terms of balancing them and keep an eye on things for you. So that's the BioT program, it's gonna be fantastic, and I think it's gonna work well with our anti-aging um, spa services that we offer. So uh, that's gonna be rolled out on February 6th. So if you're interested in getting the, at least the initial lab draws and everything like that, you can go ahead and give us a call and get that set up. A lot of times your insurance company 
you have health insurance, we'll cover the lab draw as well. So they, they, they will not cover the, the pellets. The pellets themselves are not FDA cleared, but all the ingredients in them are. Just like any, they're compounded, so any compounded medication is the same thing. And that's what they are, so they're very safe. Uh, so we're excited about offering that to our, our, our clients. Anything else? No, I've talked enough. Okay. <laughs> How are our hands? Let's take a look. What we'll final look? Okay. So we have a little bit of, so here we are, a little bit of swelling. That's about all we can expect. No bruising here, a little bit of bruising through here, but minimal. Arnica will help that. Um, and uh, then we can come back in a couple months and take a look at this and see what we look like. Cool. Thank you. Thank All right. You for, Good. For being our test subject. Yeah, thanks for putting up with us. You were, you were very brave. Okay, guys, that is it for us for Friday. We'll be back next week. Um, we always announce on Wednesday what we are doing. Um, just a couple of things, BioT. We are going to do a um, seminar on BioT in February. So watch your inbox and watch um, watch our Facebook to see when you can come in, um, actually see what BioT is about if you're a candidate. Um, so that will be in February. Um, I will also be... Um, announcing March 1st um, when our spring fling is so I know you guys have already been asking but that won't be until March 1st so stay tuned for that um, also we are trying to do a couple um, life surgeries coming up so I will also um, stay tuned it might be a Friday it, usually it is a, will be a Friday so um, we're looking at doing hopefully a breast dog and some smart lipo so that'll be really exciting um, also, I have some specials coming up for um, Botox and fillers, so stay tuned. I will announce that as well next week. Again, um, you know, always check our Facebook. You never know what's going to happen, and always tune in on Fridays at noon for our Facebook Lives. Have a great weekend, guys. Bye. Did you have a